Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Challenge Time. In this one, I am going to attempt to float some coins on water. That's right, this one's pretty cool. I'll demonstrate first and then I'll explain how it's done. So first, let's have a look at the coins. These are Japanese 1 yen coins, the smallest denomination coin in Japan. Very small, very light. Over here, we've got the water. So we've got a glass here and we've got a bowl here. And these work a little different as well too so let's let's try the bowl first now i'm hand holding the camera and doing this with the other hand so this is going to be probably a bit tricky let's give it a go oh yeah nailed it on the first try Woohoo! should we go for two yeah definitely let's go for two incoming ready There it is, two coins. Let's see if the coins go together. They usually stick together. Hmm. No, not yet. Hmm. There you go. So that's it. You just simply set the coin on the water surface. Okay, now this is going to be a little, little bit trickier, but it looks cooler in a tall glass, I think. So here goes. Oh, man, it's so hard to see. So hard to see. Okay, here we go. Yes, ready. Oh, had it for a second. Had it for a second. Let's try again. Try again, try again, try again. Come on, baby. Takes a steady hand for sure. Definitely takes a steady hand. Ready? There it is. Nailed it. Woo. All right, got three of them going. Yeah, and these still aren't stuck together yet. That's funny. They usually wind up going together. Hmm. All right, let's try one more. One more in the tall glass. Let's see. Oh, not much room in here. Ready? Uh... Oh, boy. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. Yeah, see how they stick together here? All right. So there you have it. All right, so how is this trick done? How do you accomplish this challenge? It's all in the coins. So this Japanese one yen coin is super, super duper light. It's made of 100% aluminum. That's right, they're aluminum coins. So if you have aluminum coins in your currency, you should be able to do this, okay? Other types of coins generally don't work because the metals are heavy. So there it was, the floating coins on water. Yes, and you just need an aluminum coin. Not too many currencies of the world have aluminum coins, but if you're lucky enough that your currency does have aluminum coins, give this a try. Currencies in Eastern Europe, I know they're made of aluminum and some of the other Asian coins as well too. Oh, and I almost forgot, I'd like to announce the winners of the folding money trick, which was last week's video. I challenge you guys to make your own videos doing the happy face, sad face, and I'm gonna cut to some video, to the three videos that I chose as the winners, the ones that I thought were the most entertaining and fun to watch. Folding money trick from a uh... Eric Sir Six from his uh, challenge time video number 12. Happy. Sad. I think that's pretty cool. My name is Christopher Perez. I'm from the Dominican Republic. And I'm here to accept your challenge. Here I have a 100 Dominican peso bill. I chose this one because it has three really important figures here from the Dominican Republic. These are the three founding fathers of the Dominican Republic. Sad, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy. <laughs> it's a pretty cool illusion. Yeah, Eric, thanks for your challenge and Hoping I can see many more videos from you for many, many more years. I was sad, uh, happy. And I was sad, really sad. It's happy again. It's really sad. Oh, look at that sad face. Oh, I'm so sad right now. 
Mary, don't be sad. Oh, look at that happy face. Oh, look at that sad face. So that's going to do it for me. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. If it's your first time watching and you're not familiar, I do uploads three times a week. Uh, every Monday is this series, the Eric Challenge Time Series. And also on Wednesdays and Saturdays, I do the Eric Meal Time Series where I try out different foods from Japan and around the world. And I live in Japan, actually. So... That's how I have access to all the Japanese cuisine. Yeah, I've uh, been living here 20 years. That's the question I get most frequently. How long have you been living in Japan? So there you go. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>